الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم فيه آيات بينات مقام إبراهيم ومن دخله كان آمنا ولله على الناس حج البيت من استطاع إليه سبيلا وما كفر فإن الله غني عن العالمين صدق الله العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين So the virtues of Khaliq Aba that is going on about that is going on One thing that we did yesterday is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in summarizing what we've done this week that the first house of worship established by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Khan Kaaba. It is established for all people. It is a Mubarak place and it will remain and it has been a Huda or a guidance in sense of direction. So when the Muslims are facing, one hint here is that when the Muslims are facing the Kaaba, they are doing exactly like Sayyidina Ibrahim did. So they are again, this again is also a proof that they are the true followers of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam. Fihi ayatun bayinat. We talked about some of the signs that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed in the haram of Makkah. Maqamu Ibrahim. We talked about Maqam Ibrahim. Oman dakhalahu kana amina. The ruling of Sharia. That whoever enters that place, they are in peace. They find peace. They will be given peace. Now the, the last thing that this these ayat talk about. Walillahi ala nasi hijjul bayti. The translation of it would be that as a right of Allah, it is obligatory on the people. Hijjul Bayt. They perform Hajj of the house. Hajj basically means to basically qasd or to make an intention to uh, resolve to do something. Hajj literally means a resolve to do something. So. It is a right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over people that people perform the hajj of the house of Allah. Man is tada, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given a, a, a relief that only for those people who have the istita'at. What is the istita'at? Those people who have the capacity. What is capacity defined by sharia? That somebody should have, first of all, the means of traveling. So either their private own way of traveling or in our days nobody travels by on their own but they should be able to finance their travel finance their journey secondly they should be able to leave for the duration that they are gone they should have the means to support their family their family should be able to take care of themselves so they should have food they should have uh, they should be able to sustain in their absence for the time that they are gone for Hajj. third thing is that they should not be handicapped or barred or restricted from traveling also they should be a sense sensible person a person with sense a crazy person somebody who does not know or somebody who's who's uh, retarded mentally mentally challenged for them it is not necessary to perform hajj, hajj is not a requirement upon them uh, another thing is that in the way there should be peace in the way there should be peace there should be no fear of enemy that you will be caught in the way or you will be prosecuted in the way. So Alhamdulillah, all those things are not present here in our in our setup. The only thing that we need to need to have is have the means of traveling and when we are gone in our absence, our family should be able to sustain themselves. If somebody fulfills these things, they have the istita'ah, they have the capacity. Now it becomes a right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon every such person to perform hajj of the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And those who do not, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in this, before concluding this discussion, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is bringing forth some very strong sentence. Waman kafara, those who turn away, those who turn away from this right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rather, Mufassirin have written that what, what kind of people will be those? Number one will be the, that kind of people who do not believe in Hajj being a right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala altogether, in a matter of belief. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling them 
referring it to as kufr woman kafara the other kind of people will be who have the istita'a who have the means who fulfill the conditions to perform hajj and still they choose to not perform it so ulama have written that every single year when you have the capacity to perform hajj and you choose not to perform it or delay it you are sinful you are sinful may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from that but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here is bringing both of these categories of people one who do not believe in it from the beginning or all together and the others who have the means but choose to delay it or not do it allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing both of them together woman kafara hazan mufassirin have said that although to not perform hajj uh, when you have the means is not kufr but it is something that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is putting in the same category so it should be uh, it should be a source of major concern and worry woman kafara those people who turn away fa inna allah ghaniyun anil alamin allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ghani or independent anil alamin of all the worlds so in the beginning allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought it as it is a right of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon people but those people who choose to turn away or those people who choose to disbelieve allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not care about them allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is independent of those people who do not care to fulfill the right of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is such that he is independent of everything alhamdulillah rabbil alamin salatu wassalamu ala sayyidil mursalin rabbana zalamna anfusana wa lam tughfir lana wa tarhamna lanakunanna minal khasirin wabdhir fi rahmatika anta khayrul rahimin sallallahu ta'ala ala khayri khalqihi سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين امين